Hey creeps, it's Cameron and welcome back to Library Macabre. So I recently posted a book shopping video and wow, that video got so much great feedback and I am so, so grateful for that. I'm glad that you guys enjoyed it. Your comments made my day, really made me smile a lot and I just really appreciate all the great feedback. So I thought since that one was such a surprise success, I'm gonna go ahead and do another one. I only spent like $13 on books that day, so it's not like it broke the bank. I can definitely afford to do another one. So we're gonna hit up some really, really cool bookstores today, a couple of which I haven't been to in a long time. I'm hoping to find, again, a lot of great vintage books today because that's the mood that I'm in right now. I just want vintage children's books, vintage horror, all of that good stuff. And let me tell you, some of these bookstores are amazing amazing like there are a couple that are huge and the first one we're going to go to is called the dollar book swap it's in dayton ohio this place is a warehouse filled with books and it is awesome i've been there several several times they are constantly updating their stock so they always have something new there and all of the books are a dollar just one dollar that's it to do a lot of digging. And yes, your hands will get dirty. Oh man, oh man. I found three bags of books. 47 books for $47. I found a lot of great stuff, man. So many good books. Found a ton of Babysitter's Club, Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew, all of those vintage books. I also found a first edition of The Art of uh, Racing in the Rain, which I've always wanted to read. Never thought I'd ever find a first edition of that for a dollar, but I did. Now, when you go into the store, you have to dig. Like, there's just no way around it because they have a lot of books that are in terrible shape, that are dirty or moldy, and you do have to dig a lot through these old books in order to find gold. Seriously, this is an entire warehouse filled with books, and you have people who are working in the warehouse be sorting through just thousands and thousands and thousands of books. So every single time I come here, they have brand new stock all of the books I found today were not here a month or two ago when I came here. So happy with everything that I found, but we're not done. Oh no, we still have a couple of stores to go to. The next store that I'm going to is actually a toy store in Dayton. I was actually left a comment on my last book hunting vlog from somebody saying that there's this toy store up by the Dayton Mall that has Goosebump books. So we're gonna go there next, see if we can find any Goosebumps books or anything like that, and then we're gonna hit up some other bookstores. Why, hello, creeps. So I just went into the Toy Fan Addict and they did have Goosebumps books, but they were actually brand new Goosebumps books. These weren't the original vintage books as I was expecting. So that was a little disappointing, but they had some really cool stuff in there. A lot of horror toys and action figures. So if I had the money, I definitely probably would have gotten some because there were some really cool ones in there. But we're spending money on books today. I have a book budget not a toy budget. But I did go into Ollie's Bargain Outlet, which is right next door to the toy store. I did not know that coming up here. And I found a couple of things. I actually found the third book in the Merciless series, which is called The Merciless 3. Very original title there, but this is a brand new hardcover book. It was only $1.99, so I bought that one. I also bought this really nice edition of the Hardy Boys Adventures. This is volume one, and it includes The Secret of the Red Arrow and The Mystery of the Phantom Heist. This is a really nice book. It's actually like one of those like faux leather 
cloth books. This is really cool and has some nice end papers on it. So this was only $4.99, great deal. So now we're about to go to the Antique Village, which is just up the road a ways. It's uh, here in Dayton, Ohio. And this antique mall actually has a giant book section that I went to a couple of years ago. I found a lot of really cool stuff the last time I was there. So hopefully I can find some cool vintage books. So let's go. I'm done with the book section. I'm looking for books in some of the booths over here. Hello. And so far, not finding much, but I did find a couple of cool books in the book section. Oh my gosh, but they do have vintage Halloween decorations though. How cool are these? Okay, so we are done in the antique village and I wound up shopping around in the book section and I found a couple of really good things. So I found this old paperback edition of Short and Shivery by uh, Robert D. Sansucci. I read this back in um, elementary school. It was always one of my favorites. And it's not a first edition or anything, but it is signed by Sansucci from 1996, so I thought that was awesome. This was only $3. I also found a first edition, first printing hardcover of Meg by Steve Alton, which is one of my favorites. This book is just a wild ride. All I have is the paperback at home, so I'm really glad to add a first edition hardcover to my collection. Only $3, people, amazing. After that, I walked around to the rest of the booths. It's a big antique mall, they have a lot. I did manage to find some vintage mysteries. So we have the Disney's Annette series. This is called Mystery at Smuggler's Cove. It's in very, very nice shape. It was only $2, so I picked that up in a heartbeat. And I also, likewise, found a Robin Kane book. This one's called The Mystery at Glen Gary Castle. This was only a dollar, and it's in very nice shape. So I was really happy to find a copy of that. So I didn't find like a million zillion books. I mean, let's face it, when you go into a bookstore, you want to find a million zillion books, but that's okay because we are about to go to Bonnet Books, which is located in Dayton, Ohio. It is located in the Oregon District. The Oregon District's really famous for its nightlife. In fact, this bookstore doesn't open until five o'clock in the evening because most of the business they get is from the nightlife. People are going and getting dinner and then bars and clubbing, whatever. I'm not into all of that. I just want to go to the bookstore. I've been to this bookstore one other time before, which was actually like two and a half years ago, which I can't believe it's been that long since I've gone, but I found some amazing stuff at this bookstore. Like I found some really rare out of print vintage horror paperbacks while I was there. Like that's where I found my mint condition copy of Halo by Chet Day, which is a super rare book. So happy I was able to find that for like $2. They have a lot of cool stuff there. And the last time I was there, I was with my boss and my coworker. We were just having a luncheon and I did not have a whole lot of time to look, so I had to be quick. I'm really excited to go back and actually look around really, really well. I'm sure they've added a whole bunch of cool stuff. So let's go. So yeah, another anticlimactic ending to my book shopping vlogs. I drove into the depths of the city to go to this bookstore and they're closed. And it says on their website that, they, that they're open at five. If you go on Google right now, it says they are open, but uh, they're not. And I'm a little disappointed, I gotta say. Uh, I guess that's it. 
I guess I'm going home. Uh, that's all of the bookstores that I know of in Dayton, Ohio. I'm trying to just shop county by county. That's certainly not all of the bookstores that I wanna take you guys to. There's a couple more that I'd really like to show you, but that's gonna be it for this one. I'm gonna go on home, I'm pretty tired anyway, and I did buy quite a lot of awesome books. So stay tuned for my upcoming book haul because I'm gonna show you everything that I bought, got some good stuff. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you later. Later creeps.